Hello everybody! Today we're going to be making this adorable little birthday card. Um, I did it with the uh, Cricut Expressions. I cut out the uh, figure and then we're going to put it together and I'll tell you how I did everything and what size I did. So first we're going to start with your card. This is eight and a half by five and you're going to fold that in half. Set that aside and then you can go ahead and adhere your decorative piece of paper to the back of it and you can choose anything you want. This is obviously two-sided paper. Um, I like the colors from the, that's where I got my inspiration for what colors I chose to do the cupcake, cut the cupcake out with. So go ahead and adhere this one to the card. Okay, so now I cut the um, cupcake at three and a half inches. So this is the background and then all these pieces get layered on top of it and then the heart. And so I'll show you how all that gets on here. First of all, you take your layer and you put it down. Flip the cupcake holder or the cup over and I take my Zig two-way glue pen and I just get glue everywhere. And this stuff sticks really well. But it's important to get on every little piece so you don't have it come up at any part. And then put that down. And then close the pen. Put that aside. Then you're going to take your cupcake top and so what I did is to get the embossing on it I ran it through the cuddle bug I use and I don't know if it says the name on it it doesn't it's um it looks like swirls I also use this when I do like Santa's beards on um for my holiday cards so it's it could be waves um hair frosting and then I use the polka dotted one to do the heart with. So I ran both of those through the cuddle bug. I didn't do the the cupcake holder because it just wasn't, it probably wouldn't work very well because it's a bunch of slats. So you put some glue on the frosting and you put that down, make sure it's stuck real well. Put some glue on your heart. Make sure that's on there really well. Line that up. And voila! So you take your card, flip that over, and of course, what are we going to use? Dimensionals. Boop. And I like to, because uh, I send a lot of cards in the mail, so I don't want the structure to get damaged or bent. So up where the heart is, I would actually use two rather than um, one right here. It's your choice. Um, I use a lot of product. I use a lot of tape. I should uh, invest in ATG tape because I think it's Scotch brand. Yeah, it's Scotch brand because I go through a lot of it which by stock. So go ahead and put that down until so you have your cupcake on your card. Done. Adorbs. So now you are going to take your sentiment piece of paper and all I have is a simple happy birthday stamp. It's dirty, you can tell I already used it. Didn't clean it off. Ink it up. Put down your sentiment. Make sure you clean it off. Flip it over. Add some ATG tape. Adhere it to the background. And we're going to use dimensionals again. One there. One there. A couple of sticky backs. And finish up your card. 
and there you go. Simple birthday card. And you can make a ton of these if you like the design. You could buy the pa several pieces of paper and this would yield you four backgrounds because it's a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So it will yield you four of these type of backgrounds. And you could just set your uh, Cricut to cut a ton of these at a time and then just make mass production and uh, put them together. And then you can save them or give them as gifts. I like to give some of my cards as gifts as well. Um, and people tend to enjoy that. So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a good night. Bye.